Hello there everyone, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light, Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are you wherever you are in the world when you're watching? A huge shout out to you. Uh, we've got a lot to get through today. I want to read on the royals, uh, of course, with the news that King Charles has uh, cancer uh, and being uh, part of the Commonwealth in Australia, we do follow the royals and I know that um, all around the world they are a family that is watched for better or for worse, uh, but I'll get to that later. Um, <clears throat> I do want to look at the new moon in Aquarius quickly before we start, and then I want to go back to that 14th Amendment. Remember, I couldn't get a clear read on it. I don't think I'm asking the right questions. I do have um, three or four questions I need to ask, I think, and it'll become clearer what the Supreme Court might, where the Supreme Court might go. Before we start also, just remind those, and it's not it's not my subscribers nor my regular watchers, these are people that come in uh, that think it's okay to leave rude comments. It's not. Every time you comment, it brings up the channel rules. You know that there is courtesy and politeness. Don't come after me because you don't like uh, what I'm saying. Instead, go find another channel where you resonate. Don't stop by mine. Your, uh, your comment that you've taken so long to write will simply be deleted. So off you go on your way. All right, let's go to um, let's go to the new moon in Aquarius. <laughs> okay, um, that was a really polite way of saying on your way. <laughs> All right, let's go to the new moon in Aquarius. Um, it's uh, uh, coming up on the 10th of February. New moons are all about manifestations, um, starting new things, uh, bringing forward your, um, I guess, the goals that you want to achieve. It's a very good, good time to do that. Uh, and, of course, full moons, which we'll have later on in the month in Virgo in this case, uh, are all about completions, bringing things to, to an end. The, I guess where I want to go with this new moon is um, in the lead up, certainly today that I'm recording this, uh, we have so many conjunctions going on that um, it's, it just underscores how explosive the times are that we live in. It doesn't matter what channel you turn on, what social media you go to, uh, you will find news of uh, pretty, pretty much illustrating Pluto and Aquarius uh, effect, um, people standing up uh, and uh, bringing forward the truth uh, and wanting change. And I think this is a time, if we look at it optimistically, a time of great change, also a time of turmoil. So we have the moon is conjunct Venus. Uh, so when you have a conjunction, you have the blending of the energies, making it even more... Uh, potent. I just I think that's a good word for it. Um, the moon is also conjunct Mars and also conjunct Pluto. So if the moon is our feelings, how I feel, uh, it can also be about the soul and the soul's purpose. All these conjunctions with Venus, the planet of uh, love, our relationships, Mars, the planet of driving things forward, can be aggressiveness at its best, assertiveness, standing up for what you want. Look at the protests all around the world. Irish uh, farmers are actually getting into their tractors also uh, in France and in Italy now they're, they're, the farmers are hopping into their tractors uh, protesting, um, protesting, uh, not getting uh, a fair deal basically. Um, and we have most importantly the moon conjunct Pluto. If you look at the moon in the tarot it's about things coming up from the you know from underneath, uh, it's about the deep, deep dives, uh, which is Pluto uh, down into the subterranean levels. So we've got a lot of truth emerging at this time. Uh, Venus is also conjunct Mars, so watch your words. Don't don't get don't get overly aggressive. Use your intuition. There are better ways of saying it. Mercury conjunct Pluto uh, again. We are going to want. We are we are seeing what perhaps has been hidden, and we are bringing that uh, to the surface and talking about that. And so, um, yeah, this is a time where great truth is unfolding, uh, one way or another. Mars conjunct Pluto is the one that worries me because Mars can, you know, often referred to as the the god of war. Uh, Aries, the god of war, and Mars, uh, which is. Uh, 
which is ruled by uh, Aries, conjunct Pluto, which is power, power coming from underneath and rising, and then for all of us to see. So we see that in the particularly in the Middle East and now uh, in fresh bombings uh, regarding Ukraine. All right, so on Ukraine, I just want to say this: don't come for me because I don't read on Ukraine every week. If I, if you scroll back to a search of my channel, you'll see I do monthly, uh, sometimes bi-monthly readings on Ukraine still. And uh, for two years, I read on them almost every week. So um, the focus on the Middle East takes us there because of the, um, the gravity of the loss of life there, greater than in any conflict since World War II. So... Um, 11,500 children, I think 26,000, um, and the International Court of Justice uh, saying there's a plausibility of genocide. Uh, whether it's it's not a competition, whether it's uh, the Middle East or whether it's Ukraine or in any other conflict in the world, we are for peace on this channel. And if you can't be uh, courteous in your uh, comments, then don't bother because you won't be here for that long. It's that. <laughs> the English have got a good word for that. The the Brits have got a good word for that. Uh, but I won't swear on the channel. Okay, new moon in Aquarius. Okay, so this is about this is about new beginnings. Aquarius, uh, yeah, being a little bit radical, being who you are, accepting who you are. You don't have to fit into anyone's box. Uh, it's also about innovation. And, uh, and can be social media too. Now we have in the US Mark Zuckerberg uh, before the Senate apologising to the US and I think he needs to apologise to the world because we've lost uh, teens to, who have unsubscribed from life uh, because of uh, bullying uh, that has been allowed across Facebook. Many people have lost money taken down by scams on Facebook. Well, he should apologise and all the others as well. Okay, so uh, new moon in Aquarius, and for the person that says, please put timestamps because I don't like astrolo astrology, please find the timestamp yourself. I'm deliberately not going to do that. I don't need to spoon feed you. Okay, so um, new moon in Aquarius. This uh, introductory that I do is a roundup of everything, including intuitive insights. All right, so new moon in Aquarius. Yes, I am. I am assertive must be that mercury conjunct mars all right so um new moon in aquarius at least i have a smile on my face new moon in aquarius what do we need to know for the collective please and for individuals as well all right let's have a look here so we get path justice and adjustment adjustment that's an interesting word this is the uh, tree of life uh, oracle uh, oracle cards uh based on the kabbalistic um tree of life okay so the 22nd path justice and adjustment i like the word adjustment because um adjustment is when things change and they can either change for good or for ill and we have to adjust to those changes but this is karmic adjustment balance and objectivity and i think that's what we strive for that's what we must strive for not getting down into the weeds not getting polarized stepping back doing ourselves a huge favor at the time of this new moon by stepping back looking for the balance looking for objectivity karmic adjustment um these are changing times uh i said in my world predictions often things are going to be topsy-turvy we will have to adjust to new ways of looking at things uh, and we have hod the splendor determination communication and uh, initiative hod splendor determination communication and initiative that's very much a good card for the new moon in aquarius because in order to reach our goals we have to be determined and really i am um i am determined about reaching my goals Part of my goal is uh, health and well-being. And uh, part of the, the way that you achieve that is by setting uh, healthy boundaries for yourself. So, um, yeah, this person is carrying like the, the truth here. Uh, this this tr sort of almost like the Ace of Swords. 
Uh, and this is also uh, the colours associated with the throat and the third eye and the um, the crown chakra, determination, communication and initiative. Initiative is a very important word, very undervalued word these days. We used it a lot when we were growing up. Uh, when I was growing up, many of my teachers used initiative. Um, and I think that's a good word. Too often we are spoon fed or we expect to be spoon fed. Use your initiative. Use your common sense um, and get on your front foot. Say the things that you need to say. And we get the 21st path, the wheel of fortune, yay. Fortune, quest and abundance. So these are, are good uh, good cards for this new moon. Uh, we have here, underneath here, we have the Pluto card here, Darth, knowledge, abyss, secrets, lessons yet to be realised. I think that pretty much sums up um, the introduction to this reading. So we have here a karmic adjustment, things changing, um, balance and objectivity learning to um learning to head toward those uh goals uh because i think uh in a lot of ways we've strayed so far from the path of balance and objectivity uh but karmic adjustment is bringing us back to that uh splendor determination communication and initiative now's not the time for um wallowing can i just say now's the time in in a time of change presents great opportunities to, for all of us, spiritual opportunities, opportunities to take things uh, like your health and well-being forward, uh, like your plans for the future forward, um, wherever you work, uh, if you're still in the workforce, um, looking at initiative there and, and making it your own because this is all about a time for recognising the value of oneself uh, fortune quest and abundance quest I like that word too that's not one you uh, you hear very often um, what is your personal quest and then we get the 11th path the full a leap of faith freedom and trust I love that a leap of faith freedom and trust if we've got all of those things we're doing pretty well okay so let's get on with the political reading before we do this cup of tea was quite warm before i started it it was one of those good cuppers um that the english really love you know you can see them thoroughly enjoying enjoying their tea well i was in that frame of mind and i'm really enjoying my cup of tea all right i'm uh using the mystic the mythic tarot and also Tarot Luna Somnia. Mythic Tarot and Tarot Luna Somnia. All right, let's get started. Uh, now, I, if any of you have been watching me for some time, you will know that I went back in my readings nine months ago, the coronation reading and uh, two readings on uh, King Charles after Queen Elizabeth had passed, all alluded all all said that i did well i didn't feel his reign would be that long um now i don't feel that he's going to pass anytime soon i think his treatment's going to be top class but i think it will leave him with um it will leave him less resilient than what he was pre-cancer and he will abdicate in favor of uh handing the throne while he's well enough, it's still there, still well enough to guide William, uh, I feel that it's not a long reign and I see an abdication uh, coming down the track here as a result of this cancer. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Uh, will Charles uh, recover? That's what I want to see. Um, I feel he will. Uh, certainly cards that I've pulled since I've heard the news show me that he will recover but I don't feel that it's a full return to health I feel that is the reason that he may advocate but we'll ask ab abdicate we'll ask that question will Charles recover will Charles recover will Charles recover show me will Charles what do I need to see they are public figures they're a monarchy um, and I do tarot and 
clairvoyance and predictions. So if you're not not into that, again, go and find a channel that you're more comfortable with. Okay, so will Charles, will King Charles recover? Will King Charles, yeah, I'm seeing the Six of Swords. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be um, like it's hard work what he's undergoing i can say that from experience it's not for um it's not for the faint of heart cancer treatment is rough uh chemo whatever he's undergoing uh radiation i don't know but it's a rough treatment um but it's going to be hard for him but i do see that he does recover now that slipped out as i was uh as i was shuffling many uh monarchists on this channel will be pleased and also my uk viewers will be pleased to see the star card uh showing that there is hope there and we see the butterflies coming out of pandora's box um it's a very 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 gentle energy uh dragonflies butterflies um and we see the angel here of uh, protection uh, in the sky, the star of hope. So there is hope that he will recover. Show me, will Charles recover, please? Will Charles recover? So we see here the seven of pentacles, yeah. And this is as I thought, um, his plans will change. So uh, I think initially he thought um, with the prostate, there may have been a suspicion that all was not well. But uh, I don't think he expected to get the news that he got. Uh, and so while there's hope, there's also a change of plans there as well. Um, he's in very good hands here. And we get the Eight of Wands. So we get um, news coming fairly quickly on this. That's the foundation of the reading. For those that ask that... <clears throat> what spread I'd use. I just use a, a, my own version of a Celtic cross uh, as you use your versions of whatever spreads you use. The Eight of Wands is at the foundation of the reading. Uh, and this uh, says that news will come quickly regarding this. And in all facets of this, it's going to, it already has shocked many, but we're going to get this unfolding news that perhaps we're not quite comfortable with the queen of swords is in the past logic investigation the queen of swords investigation having a plan moving forward very logically this is also the queen of swords has really strong boundaries so um i do get the impression there may have been hints of this before he went into hospital um they said it was found incidentally while they were doing surgery um, usually with an enlarged prostate, they will do an MRI or a PET scan. Uh, and really, this is logic. This is logic. And on the MRI, they don't just go in and say, well, I think you have a, an enlarged prostate. They go in uh, with scans before they touch anything. And on those scans would have shown what else was there. And so they went in with a plan. This is one criticism, well, not one. It is a criticism of the royal family. Um, it's like the tangled web they weave. Uh, we get the devil card in the sky, toxicity. So that is, uh, that is, you know, that can be, the devil card can be, um, it can be uh, around ill health. You know, you have to dig what is toxic within you. What is, you know, was there... Um, where was the cancer and i don't know where the cancer was but i think they did know that but we get the devil here um much of the much of the social media and reporting around the royals is toxic and we get that in the sky here um it's not one that i'm comfortable with the nine of swords is a lot of worry uh and i think this is just taking us back to what the atmosphere around um, the royals is now. There's a, there's a lot of um, shock, bewilderment, what happens now, so quickly on the tail of, of Princess Catherine's illness. Um, Prince Harry flew over very quickly to see his father, yet many of his critics seemed to turn that into a terrible thing. 
um, the lovers we have here um, outpouring uh, of love and then we get the family and inheritance card legacies we get the ace of pentacles in the hopes and fears new starts he has not been on the throne for very long and we get the four of wands families reunions it's going to be okay we get the magician manifestation yeah he does always uh, but we also get the moon as well so while he gets good recovery cards we also get something here that we don't yet know uh, and then the chariot we could get more information around the new moon in a couple of days the chariot and the moon card and the sun very very good cards are uh, here and we might also hear something around the eclipse in april um, full illumination and then the king of swords planning and logic um strategies going forward yeah okay so the recovery is there but there is something else here that is yet to come and so let's see what whether or not in time to come whatever divine timing it is um i was a week out on my 14th uh, on my immunity decision um but legal experts say that that judgment in three weeks was actually quite uh quite quick uh, all things considered okay so but yes i got it right they uh the dc court found that trump was not immune not immune from prosecution all right let's see king charles king charles king charles will you abdicate king charles will you abdicate down the track will you abdicate further on down in the track down the track king charles will you abdicate I don't think he's interested in um, suffering until he he dies on the throne. Um, now we get the emperor control, the emperor, the king. You don't get much higher than the emperor. It's a combination of all four kings, the emperor, and then we get the six of pentacles, giving and receiving help. Okay, so I think that. While his reign may have been may be short, I don't know yet. Uh, although these are both yes cards, um, helping others. He's most interested in helping others. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles, the skill, the Apprentice card though, is at the foundation of the reading. The Apprentice card, and so this is what I feel that he will abdicate um, rather than pass on the throne die on the throne if you want to put it like that he will hand down the legacy of the throne to prince william and this is the the card of the apprentice and he will be able to then help prince william adjust to into his role as the monarch i do believe that's what these cards are saying and what my clairvoyance is saying three of pentacles interesting there is three in his family in terms of himself and his two sons uh okay and then we also get three that could also be edward ann and andrew uh three of pentacles this again is almost um that's in the past it's it's about building something drawing on um drawing on his 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 brothers and his sisters to help him um drawing on william and kate uh to help him um this is about building something but it's in the past i think he had grand plans to reform the monarchy the hermit card in the sky uh suggests suggests somebody who's undergoing a fairly um it's not the dark night of the soul but it's there you're in the you're in the darkness and you have the light of your inner wisdom to guide you it's also the card of the of virgo we get the devil though here in the immediate future and again there's much that's surrounding the royal family uh and the way the courtiers and the way that whole spin is done that is extremely toxic 
Um, the Eight of Wands, we, we're going to get news fairly quickly. That's coming in the present. So expect some news around this question. Uh, the Nine of Swords, again, is is the anxiety in the environment around the hopes and fears is the new start. Yeah, he's doing a lot of adjustment and he is conscious that the people, that's the outcome card, need to have hope. And the Seven of Pentacles, again, the planning. If Plan A doesn't uh, succeed, we'll go to Plan B. His uh, disappointment here, but there is one cup remaining. You can see the, the cups are out of his, his grasp. He's speaking with his family here. So, um, yeah, and making that decision again to do the best thing he can do for his people. Uh, we get uh, dreams, um, wish fulfillment, the page of swords, the younger, the younger, young, young people, the inheritance and legacies and the lover's card and the world endings and new beginnings. So this speaks of generational change. So that's my prediction. I think that he will in time in order to give hope to his people to be able to do the things on the throne or with the throne in service to the people, he will abdicate uh, for William to step up. Now, um, <clears throat> how does William feel? All right, let's just ask. Yeah, okay, so... Does William does William understand that he may become king sooner rather than later? Does he understand that now? Does William understand he will become king sooner rather than later? Show me how is William feeling, Prince William? How is he feeling? So we get here the Eight of Wands. Things are just overwhelming at this time. Um, endings and beginnings. He does understand this, and the Hierophant, the king here. Um, and the two of wands, something coming to fruition in time. He wanted more time. But look at the hierophant there in the cave, ready to emerge. He wanted more time, but the time is, is has run out almost. So, yes. Uh, and queen of wands, it's, it's his wife that is struggling at this time. And this is why it's come uh, in a... In a, in a very difficult time. The Ten of Swords is, uh, is a fairly, it's the end of something. We get the Judgment card and Inevitability and then we get, we get Princess Catherine's Ill Health and the Eight of um, Swords Restriction family. So he is in, uh, his headspace is, yeah, understandably, um, yeah, this is just going too quickly for him. Is he's overwhelmed and he's extremely still worried about his wife. And if you looked at my reading, you'll see just how serious her illness, both physical and I think to a degree uh, burnout there as well, how serious her illness is. Okay, um, right. Now, <laughs> many were trying to make up stories about how Prince Harry's visit with his father went. Um, let's have a look at how it went. How did Prince Harry's visit with King Charles go? How did... I uh, see uh, a cup and they're uh, speaking over... The, it's like the Ace of Cups. There's light here as well. Um, no time for minute examination of anything, really. But they met over... It, it's the cup of love. It was a gesture of love. And and Charles met King Charles met that love with love. This is a father and a son. Not not Twitter, toxic Twitter or whatever it is now, X. Not, not Sussex versus Wales or whatever the crap that people come out with. This is a father and a son meeting over the cup of love okay so how did that meeting go no need there was no time nor uh, was it appropriate to really go into any detail at all it was simply an expression of love and it was received in that way show me how prince uh, harry and king charles's meeting went 
the Eight of Cups. So we get loss uh, here, and then we get something coming to fruition in time. It's interesting. Um, and then we get the Ten of Pentacles, uh, Family Legacies, the Family card, the Empress card in the past, Abundance, Love, things coming to fruition. In the sky, we, we get the Queen of Swords, Logic, Planning. Uh, and then we get the Hierophant, the King here, the Absolute Ruler. Queen of Pentacles in the here and now. Uh, she has everything she needs and we get the movement here. There could have been, uh, I don't even think there was discussion about will Harry return. I mean, that's the latest tabloids, will Harry return. Um, let's keep going. This was a family meeting. The hopes and fears, it was designed, I think, as a, as a he, something that could be healing. The hope was that there would be healing there. The question is, was there healing? And we get the moon. No, still tumultuous. Um, the hope was that this that they would heal. Uh, we get the nine of pentacles. And we get the six of swords. Okay, moving out of troubled waters. So that is definitely a healing card. Um Okay, let's pull one more. And the lovers, yeah, moving out. Of, yeah, it, okay, so it, it wasn't everything was smoothed over and the relationship returned to back to what it was. No, it wasn't that. But there certainly was a degree of healing. It's There certainly was a degree of healing there. But there was there's a lot of emotion with the moon here, a lot of emotion here. Um, and then we get the Queen of Cups, caring, love, uh, that cup here meeting over that cup um, what's at the base of the pack so no fairy tales here um, but it was a tough it was it would be tough to sort out the kind of family issues that are there that have been outlined uh, in Prince Harry the whole history um, we get the high priestess some a secret being uh, emerging and we get the ten of wands and the chariot and the eight of wands he went there it was serious he went there because um he is worried he was worried about his father and i'm not even going to go into the fact that uh many are saying he went there for publicity purposes for god's sake these people who don't see anyway cannot see anything but hatred in their heart um it was a tough meaning it was tough for prince harry but he went to his father in a gesture of love um and i think that's how it was received um but the moon card there shows me it was a highly emotional meeting and uh perhaps not um not not an easy meeting not easy uh, for Prince Harry to do um, and perhaps Prince Charles in phoning his son and letting him know of his ill health paved the way for the beginning I would say it was the beginning of some sort of healing I think that's a fair a fair uh, comment there okay so gosh I do want to get on to the 14th amendment um, maybe I should just do that in a separate reading I think I will uh, let's just have a look at will Prince Harry and Prince William ever reconcile will Prince Harry and Prince William ever reconcile will Prince Harry and William ever reconcile do we see the reconciliation I see family meeting over a dinner table I saw this years ago it will take time but they will eventually reconcile will they uh, ever reconcile show me Clearly, Prince Harry, Prince William ever reconcile. Perhaps when Prince William is king. So we have here the Three of Cups, yes. Yeah. Circles of support um, and celebrations. I love it when these good cards come out. In time, in time, they will come back together, which is what I thought. We get the Temperance Healing and Moderation card. So all you naysayers... You better start changing your narrative. The King of Wands in the past 
bravery stepping up um making the first moves and it is when prince william i think becomes the king the end of something and then we get the knight of swords truth the queen of swords logic okay so this is taking the emotion out of everything and looking back to if you're losing lose if you're if you're in trouble, the thing that you look for is your brothers and sisters, your family to, to support you. The Ace of Cups in the hope and fear. And then we get the Seven of Wands. So they're still very, very defensive. Uh, they're still standing their ground at this time. We get the Three of uh, Swords. That's heartbreak. Uh, we get sabotage. Not good energy. Uh, but we get the news, the Eight of Wands, that's come up three times, starts to change all that. Um, and we get loss when the chips are down and then we get the Sun card here, um, which is uh, returning to happiness. Um, there will be a lot of obstacles, challenges in their way. Uh, and the Two of Pentacles, they are, I don't know, strength, strength. They will find the two of them. Even though it's volatile at the moment, they will find strength in what in each other. It's almost like William needs Harry and Harry needs William. It, you do need your family around you uh, in times of uh, trouble. So we get the Eight of Swords and in Inevitability, but we also get this beautiful Six of Swords card, which is the healing card, moving out of tro troubled waters and the family card. So not right now. <laughs> Not right now, there's a lot of divide between them, but um, yeah, they eventually will reconcile down the track. Okay, so I'll um, finish that there. Um, well, one more. <laughs> Sorry, let's have a look at Princess Catherine. Um, Princess Catherine, I just want to see how she's doing. How is Princess Catherine doing? Princess Catherine. How are you going? I think her recovery, if you've looked at my last reading, was pretty tough. Um, and there's multiple issues with Princess Catherine. She hasn't been well for some time. Show me Princess Catherine. Prince Harry will go back to his brother um, when he when he's in his lowest, at his lowest moment. The Nine of Swords here. Anxiety and justice card. Interesting adjustment, karmic adjustment and anxiety. We get the six of wands, victory. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, we get strength, though, is in the past. So there's a long road to recovery still. The eight of cups, loss, walking away from what no longer serves you. I did have a dream about Princess Catherine. We were both in like a place where we were trying to figure out our health and well-being and... Uh, she was there with her family, her mother and father, and um, she was sitting down and I actually got in to sit next to her in the queue. And of course, I had to turn and say, hello, how are you? And um, she said, I don't want to talk to anyone but my family. I'm still picking that up. Her team is, is still, it's still, it's still very early days and there's a lot of medical, medical intervention here. The past is coming into the present and we get the King of Wands, fire signs, um, stepping forward, stepping up, a fire sign. Who's a fire sign? Uh, because it's somebody from the past, a fire sign. Okay, and we get the Hierophant in the hopes and fears. She's not ready, not ready for this at all. Um, and then we get the star card. So she's going to be okay in time. The Queen of Wands, uh, Charisma stepping up bravely, but we get decisions. A lot of decisions are being made behind closed doors. And we get the uh, card of the lovers, the Two of Cups again, and then we get the Death card. Um, uh, but we get healing and moderation. Whatever troubles she may be having, There are decisions being made now. Uh, it's not business as usual, as far as she is concerned. The Three of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, uh, but we also get the Ten of Swords. This has been very much a dark night of the soul for her, as well as King Charles. You can see the pressure that uh, they're all under. Um, 
So in this time, if you like the monarchy, step back with your BS and uh, give them all some space. Stop taking sides and um, and realise they're a family like everybody, everyone else and they have their ups and downs and, uh, yeah. But um, this is an unfolding an unfolding tumultuous time for the royal family and we will get an update fairly soon perhaps in a couple of days uh, around King Charles um, but Princess Catherine there's uh, there's some heavy decisions for her to make as a result of her health issues in, and, and for Charles as well it's quite uncanny how this has uh, unfolded alright thanks for tuning in bye for now